we can't really discuss photosynthesis without discussing light as a form of energy. Visible light is a tiny portion of the electromagnetic spectrum which goes all the way from gamma rays to these long radio waves. And we can characterize or classify electromagnetic radiation as in terms of both the frequency and the wavelength. The frequency and the wavelength are inversely related. The higher the frequency, the shorter the wavelength. The longer the wavelength, um, the smaller the frequency. So invisible light is a, just a tiny slice of the electromagnetic spectrum, ranging from a little below 400 uh, nanometers in wavelength to a little above 700 nanometers in wavelength. And you go from sort of blue-violet on the uh, short wavelength to uh, a dark red on the uh, high wavelength. So blue light has higher frequency, shorter wavelength. Red light has longer wavelength, lower frequency. This equation relates the energy that's contained in packets of light or photons to nu is actually the frequency. Is the frequency. So nu is the lowercase Greek letter uh, for frequency. H is Planck's constant. The only thing I want to point out is that according to this equation then, the higher frequency or shorter wavelength light contains more energy than lower frequency, longer wavelength light. Which means that blue light has higher energy and red light has lower energy.